Hey guys, Nikki here, and I am finally bringing you guys my What I Eat in a Day video, especially because I am 80 pounds down. You guys have been waiting for this video, so let's go. So guys, I do want to start this off by saying that yes, I did have an illness. I had GERD, I had H. pylori, so... I had to cut a lot of stuff out of my diet. I did not technically lose weight from being sick. I lost weight because I cut so much stuff out of my diet that I just was out of control with. But I do want to tell you guys that it didn't just start with what I ate. Does that make sense? I do have supplements that I take every day. So I will show you guys those supplements right here and tell you why I take them. Hey guys, before we go any further, we have to hear from our sponsors, Bellway. This is the best super fiber that you could ever have in your life. If you guys have been following my journey with GERD, my journey with H. pylori, you know that I have been having a lot of digestive problems and I have had to implement a lot of vitamins and supplements because my body cannot absorb nutrients right now because the parasites and the bacteria from the H. pylori was taking all my nutrients, honey. You guys know I've lost my hair. You guys know I've been to the emergency room like three, four times for dehydration and malnutrition. So I am trying to implement any kind of vitamins or supplements that's going to stop me from going to the ER. For one, that's uncomfortable. For two, that's expensive. I saw a couple of other YouTubers mention this product and so I wanted to try it. So this is the Bell Way Super Fruit right here. This is a fiber supplement that helps regulate your digestive system. So let me tell you ways that you know you need this in your life. If you are suffering from high blood sugar, you're always hungry, you're going too much, you're constipated, you have loose stool, you're bloating, that heavy feeling, diarrhea, hemorrhoids, high cholesterol, or going too little. It is going to help with all of that. So let me just show you what it looks like. It's a supplement right here, and you're going to see me implementing this supplement throughout the what I eat in a day. So, ooh, Bellway, can I have some more? I'm halfway through this, okay? It has a little scoop in there to help you out, and this is what the container looked like. A couple of other things I didn't mention is it aids in clearing your skin and giving you healthy hair, and that was another factor also because... You guys know I broke down in the shower when my hair was falling out and it improves your heart health and it makes you feel fuller. So what you're going to do, so what I do a lot is I add one to two rounded <laughs> scoops of fiber powder into an empty glass at at least eight ounces of cool water. It won't blend if the water is too hot or cold, okay? So cool, not cold, not hot. And then you stir briskly to mix. If the mixture is too thick, stir in more water. You drink immediately, the mix will begin to thicken if it sits too long. So don't let it sit, it's going to get thick, alright? What you can expect after two days is relief from digestive discomfort, fewer cravings between meals, improved poop consistency. After a week, regular healthy bowel movement, improved movement and energy, clearer skin and healthier hair. I know you guys have been asking me how my skin on fleek all of a sudden. I told you this in a lot of water. And then after a month, lower risk of GI issues. Woo, that's my selling point right there. Sold, <laughs> improved cholesterol levels, and healthier weight management. So this supplement can be used one to three times per day. Dissolve one serving of powder into eight ounces of liquid. I already said all that. You drink right away. You wait at least two hours. That's what I forgot to say before, before you take any medicine. And that's only because the fiber may interfere with the medicine absorption, okay? Also, what I want to add is you start with just half serving per day to minimize bloating as your body adjusts to more fiber. So that is very, very, very important. So I will highly recommend this. It is getting me on track health-wise. You guys are already seeing. You can see the difference in my vlogs. I have more energy. My skin is glowing. My hair is growing back. It's just a win-win all the way around. So I will leave the link to Bellway below. They have other supplements and everything for you to check out if this isn't a supplement for you. If I have a discount code, I will leave it below. Also, don't forget to check them out. So guys, this is a rundown of what I take every day. I don't take them all at the same time every day. Um, some of them I take at night and some of them I take during the day. So let me just do a rundown. All of these are linked to my Amazon store. So no worry, just click the link below. It's going to say my Amazon store and you just... Right there, the vitamins are going to be right there. These are Odu the Goody. They are the Nature's Choice, Nature's Bounty, I'm sorry. Hair, skin, and nail gummies, biotin. Love, love, love these. 
Back in the day, they would break my skin out really, really bad. But you have to drink a lot, a lot of water when you take these. And I drink a lot of water. So they are just little gummies that look like this. See, I'm almost done with these also. So yeah, that's the first thing. Right here you have the Goli Apple Cider Vinegar Gummies. Now these got popular like this past year. Um, a lot of people use them because they say they regulate uh, weight. It helps you, it curbs your appetite, help you lose weight, and etc. Sorry, that's my ice maker going. But I take them because apple cider vinegar is good for my digestive system. But drinking it is really, really bad for my teeth. Especially because the acid from the gourd and stuff has already messed with my teeth. So I would rather chew it in a capsule. I had stopped taking them for a minute because I felt like they, you know, flared my stomach up a little bit. But that's because I was going through some stuff I didn't even know was in my body and it wasn't these. So, excellent, excellent, excellent. Taste great. You really have to stop yourself from eating these guys because they taste so good. Well, all of these do. I can't even lie. Ooh, who is this? Sambuco Black Elderberry. I have upped on everything right now because of what's going on. But these are black elderberry gummies. They have vitamin C and zinc in them. So it's time to order some more. But just to show you, I'll be taking these. are kind of hard. <laughs> they're gummies, but they're kind of hard. Um, but they taste really, really good. And you know what? They support the immune system. They fight the colds and everything for you. And you guys know zinc is good for fighting corona. Um, if you have it or if you're trying not to get it. So this is adult probiotic gummies. These are highly rated on Amazon, so I blind bought them, and I love them. You see, they're still quite full because this is a new bottle. They are strawberry flavored, and I know a lot of you guys who do keto and stuff can't do the flavored gummies and stuff, but I'm not on keto, girl. I'll be chewing these things like candy, okay? <laughs> Um, just some very good probiotics for digestive health to go along with the Bellway um, to help regulate my digestive system. I have to heal my gut because it was stripped. My whole small intestine stomach lining was stripped, so I have to rebuild it. So that's what I use them for. And then, and then my last one, my multivitamin, which is took at night. My multivitamin, which is took at night, which is made by a company called Rainbow Light. Vibrous is women's one a day. Now let me tell you why I picked this. I went into the vitamin store and this is made with fruits and vegetables and probiotics. One a day. This is the one I take at night when I go to sleep. The rest of my chew in the morning. The reason is because sometimes vitamins can irritate your stomach, guys. So yeah, I take them at night so I can I won't feel that when I'm asleep. But they market these as one of the only vitamins that you can take on an empty stomach and you don't feel that nauseous like stomach irritation you feel when you take vitamins so that was the main reason why I got these fluxes. I wish we could get these in the gummy form because these things big and green but that's because they're full of vegetables and fruit and beta bulb so that's my supplement so now that that's out the way I drink a lot of lot of water I put my little metal straws in my bottle water I drink the big bottles I try to switch directly to alkaline based water but that can throw you off too much if they can throw you off also if you drink too much of that. So I mix alkaline with regular water um, just to give my body a balance, okay? And then when I'm a little bit balanced, I'll go back and switch all the way back to alkaline-based water. It was making me feel a little off, okay? So I couldn't have it. Right, guys, so I just feel a little bit. I said I only drink water, but there is some things that I add in for different reasons. I mostly mean I don't drink coffee, caffeine tea soda, fruit juices, that's cocktail-like juices, all that kind of stuff anymore. So let me tell you what I do drink. This is my water of choice. A lot of you guys don't like it, but I love it and it's real cheap. I get it from Amazon. Life water or essential water is my water of choice when I want to be balanced, electrolytes, and all of that kind of stuff. I drink Pedialyte often to give me a little pick-me-up and Gatorade, but I am out today. I can't believe I'm out, but that's good. That means I haven't really needed it. I told you guys in a vlog before that please drink Pedialyte within 48 hours after opening it or it will not be good, okay? I've implemented Kavita. It's a kombucha drink. It's good for your digestive system. It tastes god awful, but sometimes we gotta do what we gotta do. So I drink this like when my stomach feel a little off. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Guys, this is my favorite right here. 100% pomegranate juice. 
It's very expensive because I bet it takes a lot of pomegranates to make this juice. But it helps as an antioxidant and it helps with my blood pressure. A shot of this every morning helps control your high blood pressure. You guys can see I drink it a lot. But don't worry, sis keep backup bottles on deck. And this is like $10, guys. <laughs> I get it off Amazon also. I get everything off Amazon because I don't like going into the stores right now. So, yeah, Amazon Fresh. Also, to help with my digestive system, my urinary system, my everything system, my feminine system, I drink 100% cranberry juice. 100%. No sugar added. No cocktail. The 100%. Okay, that's the kind that's good for you, not the other stuff. It tastes god-awful. It has an awful aftertaste, but it's good for your body, guys. So. so, I am about to give you guys alternatives. Two, I still eat what I want. Let's be very clear about that. It's about portion control, the time I eat it, and how much of it I eat. If I feel like I want some fried chicken, I'm going to eat it. But I don't get a three-piece pepper fries like I used to. Give me one little chicken leg to get the... the, the the craving got the way and then give me a salad. You get what I'm saying? So, please note, this is not going to be, I cut out this, I cut out that. It's what's working for me because I know the health critics will come for me. Um, but just to let you guys know, I do not eat at night anymore. That played a big factor. Cutting out eating at night alone helped. I do not exercise at all at all so that tells you that if you're putting the right things in your body and it's been flushed out right you don't even have to do all the exercising and etc to lose weight should i yeah because now i really am suffering from body dysmorphia is that what it's called everything hey girl you can even see in this shirt my stomach my thigh everything so uh but i wasn't trying to lose weight so fast well you guys think it's so fast but it's actually been a year so you guys kept saying how did you lose weight so fast girl it's been a year i was i was losing like five ten pounds a day and now you can just actually see it if that makes sense so um back to the exercise whatever i was saying i do not eat after six o'clock i try my best not to if i do i stay that's another thing. A lot of people will say, don't eat at night, don't eat after 6 o'clock. But that depends on what your schedule is. If you go to bed at 10 o'clock at night, yeah. But me, I don't go to bed till 4, 5, 6 o'clock in the morning. So as long as I don't eat 4 hours before I go to bed, I'm good. Does that make sense? So yeah, if you go to bed at 10 o'clock, don't eat after 6. If you don't go to bed till like 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning, don't eat after 1, 2. Does that make sense? I hope so. I hope so. Um, so that's another thing. My vitamins what i eat the time i eat so it. drink lots and lots and lots of water they say drink half of your body weight so if you weigh 100 pounds drink 50 ounces of water every day you get what i'm saying if you're trying to lose weight that's another thing i did now listen y'all about to fight me but this is how i lost so much weight i cut out coffee chocolate mint tomato base citrus fried pork and a lot of beef i barely can eat now and my body is so adjusted to it now. Like once you in it about a good three, four weeks, your body don't even crave that other stuff anymore. Sweets, all that, I'll have one. Like yesterday we went to the outlet. I had got a dozen donut holes and ate two of them. Stuff like that. I just eat it to kill the craving. Back in the day, I would have killed that dozen and ate some of beige. You get what I'm saying? It's all about control, portion control. I eat a baked potato every day. I eat rice every day. A lot of people say, you have to cut carbs to lose weight. How, sweetheart? I eat a baked potato every day. A big one stuffed with stuffing. Because it used to coat, I used to. It coat my stomach and stop me from getting so much indigestion, acid reflex, and et cetera. So, a lot of you guys are going on keto, doing a no carb and stuff. But I've been eating potatoes and rice every day. Because I need something that's going to stick on my stomach. And I still was losing weight. So, um... I want to I want to put a disclaimer because I know I had health issues. So you guys will say, well, that's because of this. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. You're 100% right. But like I just told y'all, I'm telling y'all what I did and how I did it. Okay. So um, I'm going to give you guys two. I'm going to do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Two different meals. I'm not cooking. This is not a cook with me. I'm just showing you guys what I eat. And so, yeah, I'm giving you two because I kind of eat the same stuff over and over. I just mix it up. I eat a lot of baked chicken, baked salmon, baked tilapia. I eat a lot of rice. I eat a lot of potatoes. I eat a lot of greens. I love cabbage, asparagus, zucchini, um, green beans. I don't eat a lot of bread. 
that's another thing i cut out a lot of bread um and yeah you're just gonna see so if you're interested please continue to watch guys so what i'm feeling really really off i drink this yogi ginger tea i get this from amazon as well you guys know this is my favorite it's good for your digestive system also and it's like good when you wake up and in place of coffee or when you go to bed so let's talk about how i handle my sweet cravings a lot a lot of fruit a lot a lot of fruit and here's some snacks that probably weren't snacks but they're my snacks so honey nut cheerios when i want something sweet i just grab a handful okay just to kill the sweet craving i love almonds so i get this big box from amazon this is the 100 calorie per pack and it just low sodium i am really big on sodium so we're going to talk about that next when i season my foods with so here's how they come and they're easy to just throw in your purse or backpack or whatever carry on those be ritz crackers with a hint of salt and wheat thins and i put like a little piece of cheese or something on them that's another thing i'm not dairy intolerant or anything like that so i still can eat cheese i still can eat gluten so a lot of this stuff is not going to be good if you have a gluten or dairy problem so as top seasonings i use a lot of salt free low sodium seasonings because i did have an issue with blood pressure before i lost a lot of weight um and so i'm just sticking to it sticking to it so i try to use a lot of powders and not salts like garlic powder not garlic salt and i love flavor guys and some mrs dash i'm not a big fan of mrs dash at all let me say that again i'm not but some of them i do still use and as far as oil that's really not a big concern with me because i cook a lot in the air fryer so i don't have to deal with oil so like i said get garlic powder if you're going to get garlic powder onion powder make sure you say powder and not garlic salt i like lemon and garlic by flavor guide it only has one percent sodium in it here's the lemon pepper miss dash no sodium is in there garlic's lover only has two percent sodium everything has two percent sodium as well and everything but the salt has zero percent sodium so you can really pack on the flavor and the punch with these and don't have to worry about salt and for comparison here's Larry's and there is 17 percent sodium in this that's almost <laughs> 10 times the amount of so salt. let's go and get into breakfast option number one i am not a big breakfast person at all so my breakfast is going to be really simple if i eat it a lot of times i don't even eat it because i don't even wake up to noon sometimes okay i be having a little insomnia at night don't go to bed till like four or five so i don't get up to like noon so what i like is this i love this oatmeal just pop it in the microwave okay and it's done in like one minute this is the heart healthy i always look at that on my soup and everything but we'll get into that and i have it with fruit i really love maple and brown sugar way better than apple cinnamon but i love love oatmeal oatmeal is good for GERD, any digestive problems fruit of course i pair it with it every morning and I so there you have it my oatmeal with my apples and bananas option number one so this is breakfast option number two I give me some turkey sausage. I put it in the air fryer. You guys know I feel about my turkey sausage. You guys laugh at me in my vlogs all the time. I said I don't eat pork, but I don't eat big pork, like pork chop, pork ribs, none of that. I'll still eat bacon, guys. I will. I can't let go of bacon just yet. But I try not to eat so much pork because it makes my head hurt and it's just not good for you. So, mostly all breakfast foods are pork. Meat. I'm sorry. So, I love turkey sausage, smoked turkey sausage and fruit <laughs> all right guys this is option number two fun fact about me i like my sausage a little on the burnt side um, i just throw them in the air fryer and there you have it quick simple breakfast so guys lunch is always pretty simple for me wrap salad soup it's that simple um i don't have the stuff to make the salad i would usually make but i actually get the pre-made salads okay they come in that little round bowl thing um, I actually get those all the time, but my soup, I love potato soup, but I don't have any, so I love this soup right here, the heart healthy one. I really love this one, I, the home style one. I don't know the difference, but it tastes a little different. So that's this one right here. Make sure you get heart healthy because canned soup is packed, loaded with sodium. 
So make sure you get the heart healthy so it won't be, or I always water it down. Like I use half the juice in here, then add water. And so also another one, heart healthy. And I will eat it with crackers just to fill me up a little bit more because this soup really don't do it all the time, okay? So this is my favorite, so this is what I'm going to have today. All right, guys, there you have it. Option number one, very simple. Some soup and some crackers, and you guys know I love baked potatoes too. But I show you guys that almost every vlog, so I know you didn't want to see a baked potato. <laughs> but that is my favorite type. Okay, guys, here's my second option. You guys see me eat this in my vlogs all the time. It is my absolute favorite. And it is so easy to make, okay? I don't add any oil. I don't even add any seasoning. I let the peppers be my seasoning. The meat, I already got kind of like a little slight, little splash of seasoning. So, let me tell you what I use. I love Kobe Jack over cheddar. I'm sorry, it just tastes better to me. <laughs> and I should have had some new packages, but I be eating. <laughs> so this is the grilled chicken breast. I love this. I already cooked. Here's the peppers I use. And I only use whole wheat tortilla. tortillas. <laughs> tortillas. Now, thumbs up if you want to cook with me video. But that ain't what this is. This is what I eat in a day. But I can I can whip them pots up for you guys, okay? And also, and also. A lot of you guys recommended smoothies. I cannot drink smoothies. They give me terrible indigestion. So you're not going to be seeing any smoothies on this channel. All right. Get my fiber bars out. I love these from Fiber One as a snack also. And I do eat them with lunch a lot. What I want to stress is this is not a lot of clean eating. It is because it's a lot of processed food as you guys can see. But I'm taking it a step at a time. This is all new to me. I know there are going to be critics. Oh, you should not eat out the can. It's processed. But it's working for me, guys. So when I get to that step, I'll get there. But as, for, as of right now, take it easy on me. Take it easy on me. All right. All right, guys. So I tried to plate it all neat for you all, but my tortilla broke. So a simple wrap with my fiber bar. And look at the gooey. Ooey. Ooh, it's so good, guys. Take a bite. So guys, this is option number one for dinner. Same ingredients, less groceries, and it is delicious over a bed of brown rice. And it's so good. Try it. Trust me on it. Just try it. All right, guys, this is dinner option number two. Some wings in the air fryer. I absolutely love these wings. And I often pair them with greens like asparagus or something. But today it was okra. All right, guys, of course, I'm not a nutritionist or anything. That's why it's called what I eat in a day and how I lost 80 pounds without exercising. Um, so if you have any questions, leave them below. I do not give dietary um, advice. Every time people say, how did you lose the weight? I ate right. <laughs> That's what I say. I did not have weight loss surgery. That's another assumption. Um, I know YouTube make surgery and stuff so convenient, but just stop assuming everybody went out and had weight loss surgery. That was kind of... That kind of used to really, really piss me off because people would say, oh, you had surgery and girl, I was sick. <laughs> like if I had surgery, I would have documented it. So I could have got it done for free. You know, I'm a whole influencer. All I got to do is hit a surgeon up. Hey, I'll put this on YouTube. If you do it for free, you get it. So another thing I want to mention also, 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 please be very careful what you say to people. Okay. Because now I have a lot of people coming under my pictures. Hey, skinny mini. Hey, skin, that's not funny to me. That's not a compliment to me. So if I go back to your page and say, hey, fat ass, you'll be ready to fight. It's the same thing. Be careful what you say to people, okay? So that's everything I have to say in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave all your questions below. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe on your way out. And I'll see y'all on my next video. Bye.